Tomorrow is Friday the 13th. Me and Bad Luck did have beef. He can't hurt me, he can't serve me. I win every time I see him, even with all his undermined and Gian, every time I beat him. How's it going? Uh, this is Non-Luminous Flame, I'm back again. I got some, uh, got some eyewitnesses over here, they're sleepy. Uh, this will be an informal response to what's his name? Uh, what is his name? Satanic TFL. Yeah. Okay, Satanic TFL, this is for you. All right. A little parkour for you. Okay, so I've been watching your videos while I've been running, right? And from what I can gather, you look at MGTOW as like, oh, defeatist, I suppose. And TFL was more like realist, neutral realist rather than pessimistic. Which, okay, uh, as some might call it, I'll give you that concession right now, okay? Uh, but there's, I got a few questions for you. I have a little bit of a, a few Bible verses to read, uh, introductions. Uh, oh, really? Okay, uh, so I like to come here and do what I call Stampy Standpoint because I nicknamed this horse Stampy. And I come and I sit here with this guy and I uh, make videos. Spider webs, naturally. Okay, so uh, a little background about myself. I am motherless, straight up motherless, right? Uh, my parents are both basically psychopaths, okay? Uh, that one is Stampy, that one's Rowdy. That's the good luck to cat down there. Okay, so my parents are basically psychopaths, all right? I decided real early on that I wasn't gonna have any friends and I wasn't gonna attach myself to anybody because it was just, it got crazy real fast. If you look at some of my other videos, that will become real clear real fast. Even the one earlier today, right? So, I wanna share some biblical concepts with you uh, and see what you think about them, if nothing else. And not counting what I already just said. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that's, I think that's what you think. Cause I've been out running, but uh, I think I got your, the gist of it, which is you see MGTOW was like too pessimistic and defeatist. Whereas you, I, got, I don't know if you want to reform or what, or like, um, like Steve Hoka, <laughs> come on. I mean, he's a fat guy, no money. To me, it's all about money, right? So, so I sent this message to this guy named, this pastor named uh, Truth in Genesis on YouTube saying that the only difference between a Christian woman and a, a heathen woman is that the Christian woman realizes that um, God has more money or more resources rather than Mammon and Mammon is essentially Satan the ruler of money it's like a lesser demon right it's money okay so if you look uh, the look, greatest determinant for divorce is whether or not the husband has a full-time job bam there it is so if you can't provide for a woman then yeah you kind of are tfl but i can't provide for a woman and they throw themselves at me but being a christian we're going to want to get married first so you by by that metric you i'd be a tfl or two so i'm not going to say yeah yay or nay to the tfl right neither is old stampy he, he's cool with he's cool with that right but i want to share a biblical concept with you i'll go ahead and read something real quick um La 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 la. Uh, oh yeah, and t tomorrow really is Friday the 13th. <laughs> okay, so this is from Isaiah 65, 17. For behold, I create new heavens and a new earth, and the former things shall not be remembered, nor come to mind. Now that means we're going to be memory wiped, okay? So that spiritual refinement is the only measure of success or failure on the earth, of accomplishment even. Because after, after we are um, judged and we bring our life to account uh, with Jesus as our lawyer at the white throne, after that, what need is there of remembering this stuff? So that'll all be scrapped, okay? Which brings me to my other verse that I have for you. Uh, and this is from... Uh, is it Revelation? 
Revelation 2.17. thing I said about Mammon because it's basically it's about money. Uh, Revelation 2.17 says, hopefully you can hear me, it's not too windy, it's real windy. Um, Revelation 2.17 is, he that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith to unto the churches. To him that overcometh will I give the hidden manna, and will I give him to eat. Okay, well, Will I give him the hidden manna and will I give him... Okay, let me start over. Uh, Revelation 2.17 He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. And to him that overcometh will I give to eat the hidden manna and will I give him a white stone with a new name written which no man knoweth saving he that receiveth it. Okay? What that means is you'll be given a new name. So whatever weak name that I have here on the earth isn't my real name. And your real name is our real name, whoever, is so powerful that only God and that person knows it. Because if you know someone's real name, true name, then you have power over them. Okay, and so I'm going to read you one more verse to prove that. An angel says in Isaiah 65, 17, for behold, oh wait, no, no, I already read that. Where is it? Where is it? Ah, uh, yes. An angel says in Judges 13, 18. And the angel of the Lord said unto him, the guy he was talking to, uh, Why askest thou thus after my name, seeing it is a secret? Okay? So even an angel has a name that no one knows, and he's not going to tell this guy it. Right? Because it's a secret. Why is it a secret? Because he's, he's a glorified being, like Jesus Christ after he rose. And he's immortal. So if he gives over power, that's rap. So I want to tell you that because every person is valuable, okay? You and I have about the same amount of subscribers. And I want to go ahead and bang this out for you and uh, see what you think about these subjects, okay? Uh, like I said, my parents were basically psychopaths. They were both raised by women. Uh, I'm glad that you had a mom. I mean, you should reach out to her. I would say um, I could write my mom a letter in jail, but I'm not going to. But all right, man, um, I hope you get back to me. I'm going to go ahead and show this to you. I already sent you a text wall comment uh, with one of my really long text wall comments with my first and my last video attached, okay, for some background. But we got about the same subscriber base, so I want to go ahead and reach out to you, okay? But all right, um, this has been Non-Luminous Flame. I like your work. I, I listened to almost all your videos already, okay, as I was running. But I wanted to go ahead and drop an evite.